quickly with everyday gourmets. So one of my favorite just appetizers or just treats to have in the refrigerator is hummus. You can eat it with some celery or pita chips, whatever you want. So I'm gonna make a homemade hummus, but I'm gonna do a little twist on it. I'm gonna do a dill lemon hummus. and It's gonna be so good. I wish you exactly how to do it. Okay, so in my food processor, you could also use a blender. I have two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas. Now I make it enough because I'm having a bunch of people over. So if you want to reduce this in half, just to have like a small little bit in your, uh, in your refrigerator, you totally can. So I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic, so one per can. I'm gonna do a bunch. Oh, I love, 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 love dill. Do a bunch of fresh dill in here. Let's say like a third of a cup. I'm going to do the zest of a lemon right in here. Actually, you know what? I don't think I need too, too much. I think I'm going to do like a, a heaping teaspoon of that. I'm also going to add the juice of two lemons in here. Right in here. And this is a really great summery, light snack you can have in your refrigerator all the time. Don't feel bad about it. Have some pita chips or eat it with like some cucumber or you know, veggies. Always delicious. Alright, so I'm doing the juice of two lemons right in here. I'm also gonna do six tablespoons, so about three tablespoons per can of tahini, which is a sesame seed paste, which really gives it that uh, hummus flavor that you're used to. So in here, six tablespoons of tahini. Beautiful. I'm gonna do some salt, a little pinch. I'm also gonna do a little tiny bit of red pepper flakes because I can't resist. All right, so I'm gonna put this on and let it go for a while, and then I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil once I get it to my desired consistency. All right, see how it's starting to stop a little bit? I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil or regular olive oil. Perfect. Sometimes you might need to open it up here. All right, so I need a little bit more of this olive oil. Not too much, I don't want it too oily. Exactly what I want. Beautiful consistency. I can't wait to try it. it smells, mm, it smells so good. So my hummus is done. It looks amazing. Just have a little pita chip here. Gotta give it a try. So there you have my lemon dill hummus. I hope you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet Quickly for more delicious recipes and videos.